Stone, the Grand Canyon, the Arch, and Great Rivers. And Alton Company is hoping to transform their riverfront into the next national park. Live on your side's Tracy Hinson spent the day in Alton learning about this proposal. We discovered there's 20 different public entities that hold land here. So why not just bring it all under the National Park Service so there's consistent trails, consistent amenities. A lofty dream, but the social impact development company Alton Works think they can do it. We own 34 properties along Main Street, and we just believe that outdoor recreation is really important to people, and we want to create a, a city where people have recreation, they have leisure activities, they have a Main Street, there's a lot of different housing stock here. So we want to have a, you know, sort of a city where you can do everything. And to do everything, her company, Alton Works, has an eight-step plan for the riverfront that would lead to a national park, Great Rivers. Number one, improve cruise ship mooring area and amenities. Two, update the marina. Three, add a concrete boardwalk along the riverfront. Four, connect the riverfront and downtown with a bike trail. Five, build out the great lumber site with family activities. Six, build a flood-proof bike park. Seven, upgrade Russell Commons Park. And eight, optimize the amphitheater. All this does hinge on one big thing, though, relocating Argosy Casino and not to the waterfront. Well, I think it would be difficult to say this is the front door to a national park if you have a casino right there. We might be years away from the Great Rivers National Park, but every plan has to start somewhere. The National Park Service does a what they call a reconnaissance study, and it takes about two years, and they just make sure everything is in place that they could make that happen. In Alton, Tracy Henson, Five on Your Side.